guys, it's Talia here again. Um, welcome to another vlog style video on this channel. I honestly can't even remember the last time I filmed a vlog style video on this channel. So if you're unfamiliar with my vlogs, they're more casual, they're real life, there's some like personal stuff mixed in with it. Like I basically just take you guys around for the day. <laughs> so today we have a couple interesting things going on. In a few hours here, I am teaching a one-on-one -on -one nail art workshop. So if you didn't know, I do teach nail art workshops, like certified to teach nail art workshops. So it's just like you coming and learning what I know and what I have to offer. I don't know, they've been pretty successful and I have a lot to share and I, I love teaching them. Out of all the little areas of my business that is like one of my favorites is to teach nail art workshops I don't advertise for it like it's it's basically if somebody kind of approaches me and they want me to show them stuff then I will be like yeah sure come in for a workshop and the nice thing about the workshop is I tailor it to what the individual wants to learn so I get them to send me like 15 to 20 different pictures of nail art that I've done and I can kind of pick apart different pieces that I can see that they want to learn and I will customize the three hour workshop for that. So I'm really excited to host one for this girl. And uh, this girl was actually a previous client of mine who is now a nail technician. So it's even more exciting because I know her. So I'm able to, I, I don't know, it's just a little, I don't want to say easier because I'm, I love hosting like new people that I've never met before as well. I love meeting anybody in the nail industry, but I just, I kind of know her. So it's, it's a little bit different. I'm just going to chat with you guys for a little bit while I get ready here. And then part two of the exciting day. I don't know if I want to say that I'm excited for this though, because it's kind of bittersweet. I'm going to start packing the nail studio. So if you guys have not been following my channel or my social media, um, my husband and I are moving in like less than three weeks. Like it's nuts. And I haven't even started packing the nail studio yet because I wanted to film that nail studio tour, which should be up before this vlog. Um, so I will link it if it's available. If not, it's coming soon. There were some videos that I wanted to get filmed before I packed everything up and I got some of them filmed, some of them I didn't. So it is what it is. I just, I honestly, even if I got them filmed, I probably wouldn't have time to edit them till February anyway. So I might as well just wait to film them. I tried, <laughs> I tried, but it's so busy right now. I just, I couldn't get it all done. I'm gonna use the new Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. Oh, this palette is stunning, you guys. I've been obsessed with shimmery type of tones lately, so when I saw this one come out, I was like all over it. If you've never had a Too Faced Chocolate Palette before, they smell like chocolate, they are delicious. Oh, and we have a showing for this house today too, so it's just a crazy day, you guys. It is a crazy day. Okay, I'm gonna keep getting ready, and I will be ready in three, two, one. I feel like that looks so much better. Um, okay, my face of the day, if you guys care, if you were into makeup. So the foundation that I absolutely love is Estee Lauder. I wear shade Ivory Nude. Actually, the blush that I'm wearing today, I don't even know the name of it. It's from Tarte, and it's in this palette, and it's like this color right over here. I don't, I don't know the name of it, I'm sorry you guys. I think it's limited edition anyway. Uh, for my eyebrows, I always use my Naked Basics palette. There is a color in here called Faint, and it is like the perfect color for me. Showed you guys the eyeshadow palette that I used. And for my lips, I have become obsessed with lip scents. If you guys don't know what lip scents is, uh, it's basically like a long wearing lip product. I kind of like to think of it as like a lip stain, but I drink like six of these a day and I never get transfer from it. It's amazing. If you guys have ever used any other like lipsticks or lip glosses, it's so annoying when you like cover the end of your water bottle with like lip products. The shade I'm wearing today looks like this and it is called, it's called Sheer Berry. And it is this really pretty like, berry type of color but I have the actual berry one from lip sense and it's I find it to be a little too dark if you guys keep up with my vlogs you would have seen it in a few vlogs um, in December I like this one more this one is like my favorite color right now uh, and this is just matte I haven't put the gloss on yet and I feel like the gloss just makes it look so much better I really want to get lip injections <laughs> Ever since I have started using uh, lip scents, I'm like, hey, my top lip is so small. I would love to get lip injections. <laughs> I told Steve that and he's like, yeah, okay. But we'll see. Anyway, 
And if you're interested in trying LipSense, I'll have the link to where I get my LipSense from in the description box below. So just wanted to chat with you guys about that because I've been obsessed with this and especially for like mom life. I don't have to reapply my lipstick all day long and it doesn't get all over my kid if I want to like give her a bunch of kisses. It doesn't get all over the water bottle. It lasts all day. It's amazing. But also for nail tech life. If you wear a mask while you're working, it doesn't transfer to your mask. Whereas I used to wear like lipsticks and stuff all day long and it would just transfer to the mask and like kind of make a big mess around your mouth and you don't have to worry about that. LipSense is good for mom life and nail tech life. <laughs> okay, let's go get set up for this workshop now. Hi to the nail people, Rose. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to cut a toddler's fingernails. Lay down. Lay down. These are the Frida Baby Nail Clippers. These are the best that I've found because you they have like a little window where you can see where you're cutting. And I've purposely tried to cut myself multiple times with these and it just doesn't happen. So I feel confident cutting her nails. But I do want to try, they have like a little baby e-file that's supposed to be really good. So I would get that if we were ever blessed with another baby. But these make it super easy. And I also think that cutting a baby's nails right away helps her get used to it. Because Rose just lays here whenever I do this. Is it manicure time? Good job. Let me see your other hand. Let's start with your thumb. And last one. This is like your kid's nail. There you go. You're all done. Easy peasy, how to cut a toddler's fingernails. So the next thing that I do is I print out the agenda for the day, which I only had cardstock and I wasn't sure if it was actually gonna print, but it did. The printer usually scares my dog. So that's awesome, I'm glad that that printed. I always make an agenda for the day because I feel like it keeps us on track. It also reminds me like what we, what she wanted to cover. So typically I put it in order of like importance for her. So the very last few things we might not get to on the agenda, but um, we are going to chat about problem lifters and stuff. And like I said, I'm not certified to teach like the basics and whatnot, but I can still talk about some of the stuff that I've learned. So I'm definitely going to chat a little bit about that with her and then we're going to move on to nail art stuff. If you guys didn't know, I basically have the best husband. <laughs> He's vacuuming for me so that it looks presentable before my, I guess, client gets here. I seriously get so distracted lately. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to set up for the workshop. And then I ran upstairs to get my computer to print the agenda. And I got caught up with my daughter, which you guys saw. And now it's like, okay, you actually have to set up. So the next thing that I want to do is I set up different colors and different art products that we're going to use for each of the example designs that I'm going to do. I also have to throw out swatch sticks and like a little swatch thing to see. I don't know which one she's going to want to work on. I like the swatch sticks, but if she wants to work on like a stand, we'll work on a stand. I also like to create two little stations here. So we have a station here for her with all the wipes, Q-tips, anything she's going to need, her 99% isoprofen alcohol. I do like to put out a little brush holder in case she wants to try them. I, I don't know. I can't work without a brush holder. So I'm like, you know what? I'll put it out for her. The agenda products that she gets to take home with her. I usually like to include some of my favorite products and some of the things that we'll be working on in the workshop. That way she can go home and practice with some of them as well. And then over on my station, I have the exact same setup. I also always have a cloth sitting on my lap when I work. I put one out for when I teach workshops too. I don't know if you guys do that too, but I have to work with a cloth. I use this cloth for wiping off my hands. I use it for like wiping off dust off my hands. Um, cuticle oil at the end. I actually wipe off like my stamping plates after I've put nail polish remover on them. So I use this thing all the time. So I always like to put one out for the people who are attending my workshops. We have a guest in here. I would like to say that she's come to help mom set up, but she's really just come to take gels out of the drawers and play with the nail products. Give it to mom. Thank you. Let's put that back. We don't touch honey. Good girl. Watch where you're going. Rose loves coming into the nail studio, don't you? There's so much for you to get into down here. Hopefully in the new studio, I won't have that many cords out all the time. Hey, Rosie. Can you close it for mom? Close the drawer. Thank you. Daddy, can you take her, please? Go see daddy. My next step to set up for my workshops is I go through the agenda with everything that she wants to learn. 
and I set up the different products we're gonna use for the examples. She wants to learn about like embedding glitters and doing glitter fades, basically working with glitter gels and how to use mixed media in with glitter gels. So I have two different examples set out here that we're gonna do. We're gonna do like a glitter fade. Uh, we're gonna embed some glitters. We are also going to work with some of the new butter creams, which you guys would have seen a video on already. I try to use some of the new products that have come out. So sometimes people who book workshops with me, they get to see the new products before like they're even released. So that's kind of fun. We'll get to work with some of those. So I'm not sure if she's worked with butter creams before. Uh, we need to chat about like her process for doing nail art and applying color and stuff. And if she applies color on top, I'll definitely show her how to work with these. Either way, I'm going to show her how to work with these. So I'm going to use these in combination with the clear jelly stamper plates. Not, I'm not going to use these for stamping. I'm going to use these like the colors. We are also going to do some hand painted zebra and some hand painted leopards. So these are going to be our backgrounds for those. She also wants to learn how to do the marble stone nail as well as some other marbling techniques. And if we have time, we'll do some baby boomers. So one of my favorite products for working with baby boomers is Fusion Wish. It's a really, really nice, like light see-through milky white. Um, and then we're just gonna use the light all against baby pink. But the last thing that I do is I set up my iPad here and what this has is our agenda on it as well as the different examples that she sent me that she's interested in learning how to do. Uh, I like to set this up again because it keeps me on track for the workshop, but also it allows me to reference back to the pictures that she sent me and ask her what techniques she wanted to learn specifically in these different designs. Usually I can kind of pick it out. Like I'm sure she wanted to learn the marbling here. This one, she's actually got this design many times on her nails. So I know she wants to learn how to do like this sort of look. Uh, she's a very fresh new tech, so she hasn't really done much nail art, she told me. So I definitely want to stick to more basic stuff for her. That, that way it's not too overwhelming and she doesn't walk away, I don't know, kind of feeling defeated. Like I want to make sure that we keep the workshop on track to what she's able and feels comfortable learning. I seriously love teaching nail art workshops, you guys. It's not something that I do on the regular and it, like I said, it's not something that I overly advertise for, but... I have so much fun doing it. One of my favorite things in this industry is to connect with you guys, is to hear your stories, hear your struggles, hear what you want out of the industry, talk about your business. That's one of my favorite things to do. Whenever I go to events or uh, like the CNTC or anything like that, that is like my hands down favorite thing to do is chat with you guys. So especially working with new nail techs, there's so many struggles at the beginning that if I can help somebody with my workshops, I am like all for it. So. I don't think I would ever want to teach like the basics of doing nails. That's just like not my jam. That's not what I want to do. But I love teaching the art and I love teaching like about the business side of it. I love that side of it. So that's a lot of what my workshops are is even though I'm going to show you some nail art techniques, we spend a lot of time talking about your clients, talking about like your business setup, talking about your goals. We spend a lot of time doing that too. So it's a great like well-rounded workshop and I can't wait for it to start. Like I said, she's actually going to be here like right away. So if and I'm just going to pick up a little bit left on my brush. Just like you don't want too much, just like a fraction of it. Okay, and then you're turning your brush flat like that and you're pulling it down the nail. And it's light little tiny strokes. Um, so when you're going in your product, let me just show you really quick here. I see what you're doing here is you are like you're going all the way up here when you're pulling mm -hmm. it and then you're like you're really pushing it so then it's causing that break mm -hmm. in your glitter yeah. fade you don't want to do that okay so when you've applied the majority of your product up here you leave it you don't touch it because okay. you want it to be really concentrated so when you're going in and fading it with your little bit on your brush you're essentially just starting down here right where it's ended and that's where you're pulling it okay well, i start right here. Yep, exactly. Right where it's ending. Perfect. Do you see the difference there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not. And if you and it's super, super light and super, super gentle. Okay. Like you're not pushing into the product at all. Okay. And you can always pick up more glitter if you're finding that you're taking some away. But remember, we're dropping chunkies, yeah. so it's no big deal if you've taken some of it away. Okay. So if we were just to put chunkies on that, then yeah, just to see, I guess. Yeah. So. We're gonna go pick up our chunkies again. We're just dipping in here. That's all we're doing is just getting it wet. So there's something for your chunkies to grab onto. And then you're just gonna pick up. And when you're it's when you're dropping them, your dotting tool is like perpendicular. What is that called? I don't know. With it, um, like you're not going like this because you won't get as much okay. on it. 
parallel. That's the word I'm looking yes. for. <laughs> Perfect. And it's the same type of idea. You want the majority of your chunkies at your free edge. And then you're just dropping a couple oh, okay. going down. You don't want too much down here where you're okay. blending it in. And if you're finding that it's getting too gunky like that, wipe it off. You wipe don't it want off. it to look gunky because it's just going to make blobs okay. in it. And then do the same thing. Go back in and drop it. I think that's looking really good. If I were you, I would wipe that off again. I would go in and just add like a couple little bit on here and just fade it down in the nail a little bit. Okay. So typically because you're embedding this, you would have the dispersion layer of your bonder here, which mm -hmm. it would fall into it that. Would just yeah. It. Okay. Okay. So I would cure that. So a lot of times I will stop here. That's it. That's my glitter fade. Okay. If you want to add chunkies though, because we have some of the ones that you brought, okay. definitely feel free to do the exact same thing. We're going to dip in, grab some chunkies. And a lot of the time when I'm working with my chunkies, all I'm doing is dropping them too. Okay. Like I'm, I'm almost using my dotting tool as like a scoop. And then when I want to place it properly, that's where I go in and kind of dab it. Okay. So play around with it. It's like the motto of the day. Okay. Perfect. I think that's pretty good. That what do looks, you think? I think that looks good. Great. I like that. Perfect. Let's cure it. Okay. Um, and exact same thing. Once you get your Dell on, it just like, it smooths everything out. It looks nice and even. So don't Perfect. judge your glitter fades before you have that on. So brand new head, like brand new stamper. Oh my gosh. What? There's a new head on there. I had no idea that the head fits in like that. That's cool. Because then you could just, is this a different, sorry, I just want to see. I think it's the same texture. Yeah, I think it's the same head. What? Huh? Mine Did yours come like that. that? Nope. I had no idea it fit inside like that. That's cool. Neat. Interesting. Well, I have another head for you now. I'm kind of a polish whore, so I <laughs> put a lot of polish put on. Tons. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you're using this, the easiest way to use it is a quick flick. Okay. Super, super quick. Okay. It took me a long time to use that. I was like anti quick flick. So what I used to do is I used to like, I used to dab it down and that's what I or do. like go slow. But okay. if you go super, super quick, it picks, picks it up it every right single up. time. Okay. So would you go and clean this off then? Yes. Now? Okay. Uh, with the clear jelly stamp for images, I do find... They're etched perfectly, but if you let the polish sit in it and try and stamp on it, it's not going to pick, pick up. No. And do, let's do the chevron because that was the one that you were um, mm -hmm. struggling with. I use tons. I don't know. Like I said, I'm a whore. <laughs> I feel like that way, like it's guaranteed to get in all of the all grooves. Of there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Okay. So you are putting your polish here and going like this. Okay. It's going to be a pain in your butt. Do it. I'll give you another one of these. Put it at the top okay and then towards you towards me yeah okay okay so like that and you also um do these are just tips okay um when you're doing it angle it down like this and don't apply any pressure oh don't no okay because if this one, I didn't have enough polish on there, you can see. Mm -hmm. But if you're scraping it too much, it can get into the grooves and cause it to come up. So okay. if you do it nice and light, it'll just come make the right. polish come okay. right over top of it. Okay. Here, use mine so we don't waste yours, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay, so with this plate, this is the Rose's Floral Garden plate. Okay. Um, the best thing that I can suggest for this is to look up different images of what like roses look like or what um, the different flowers that are on here look like. Okay. Because when you're stamping them, some go from light to dark, some go from dark to light, some have mixes of different colors. Okay. So when I do the rose one, which is what we're going to do here, um, either looks good light to dark or dark to light. Okay. When you're buying polishes from Clear Jelly, I like to suggest um, getting like th if you want to do purple, for example, get three different shades of your purples. Okay. Because that's how the layered plates are typically designed is to layer uh, different shades okay. depending on the image that you're using. These images here that have a lot in them are tricky. This is these are the ones people struggle with. Okay. Um, a couple tips. I like to pull my polish, so I like to have a lot of polish in there. Again, super light stroke with this, like super, super light. You're barely touching it. Okay. Because if you dig in, that's where you get these lines that will not pick up. The layered stamping plates, they're tricky. Like they kind of are, 
Oh, I love that. I feel like it looks so much better, mm -hmm. right? I think that looks better. It ties it yeah. in. Yeah. Ties it in all together. So that's how you use this plate. Mm -hmm. Now I want to see you do some of it. Okay. I always use way too much of the leaves because <laughs> they're just so small, they're tiny. right? Yeah. Yay! Perfect. It just finishes it, right? Mm -hmm. I think it looks a lot better than just the rose itself. I agree. Though sometimes clients don't want green on their nails. Yeah, no. So you kind of got to do what they want to mm -hmm. do. But a lot of times I'm like, let's just try it and, and you see can see. You like. And if not, then I'll redo it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The majority of the time they keep the leaf, though. Do they? Yeah. It's just the idea of having green on your nails, right? Yeah, you think about it and you're like, mm, no. Because I don't like green myself. Yeah. There. Yay! Look, look at, at your that. layered stamping. Oh, I love it. Isn't that fun? Yeah. It looks awesome. So if I was going to do this on a client, like on a client, I'd probably do like another um, flower up here okay. or some up the sides. Something like you to can make just it a little bit more, I think. Yeah, but I mean, it looks good on its own there no, too. I love it. You could even put a Swarovski crystal in the middle if you wanted. Mm -hmm. just like you can do that sort of thing yeah. too. No, I love it. Oh, Yay. it looks good. It does. Perfect. Good job. Yeah, oh, as long as you, you can master this, these ones are these nothing. These ones are easy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it is 3.30. My workshop ended about 15 minutes ago. It was so much fun, you guys. Like, seriously, like I said to you, I love teaching these, like, one-on-one -on -one workshops. I've toyed with the idea of doing, like, an actual workshop with, like, a bunch of different people, and I, I think I have fun with it, too, but the one-on-ones are just so personal. Like, I can get to know the people and see what they want to learn and what works best for them in their studio, what their clients like. It's just a little bit more personal and customizable, I guess, so I really enjoy that part of it. But I guess Rose is still sleeping. She went down at 12.30 and she's still sleeping. So that's like a wicked long nap. That's an awesome nap. She should be in a good mood when she wakes up. I will pack when Rose goes to sleep. I will start packing the nail studio. So this will probably be part one of packing the nail studio. I'll probably, I won't, I know I won't finish. Uh, the rest of it might end up being on my vlog channel. So if you guys don't follow that, definitely make sure that you're subscribed. If you like vlog style videos. You sit on your bum? Good girl. Okay, hold your kitty. I know many of you who follow my vlog channel want to know how many kitties were in Kitty Surprise. So Rose actually got, you look so cute sitting like that, honey. So in Rose's Kitty Surprise, which if you don't know what Kitty Surprise is and you don't follow my vlog channel, this is Kitty Surprise. So you get her and she busts open her belly and that's how many kitties are in her. And Rose got five kitties. So she got actually four girls, uh, this girl, this girl and these two are twins and then she got a little boy too did you know rose that every one in 12 gets five kitties pretty lucky girl mommy's kitty surprise growing up she only got three there you are oh she's fallen we're just having some play time upstairs play time before you go to bed <laughs> You're being so goofy. Careful, careful. Hey, are you hungry? Should we go find some bedtime snacks? Yeah, say yes. Yes. Good girl. So it's been a successful evening. I didn't, I haven't started packing yet though, but that's okay because I'm not tired at all and I can definitely start packing here soon. So for my second channel, I filmed a what's in my diaper bag video. So it's like a what's in my diaper bag that I carry around for a toddler video. I don't I don't know when that video will go up, but I am excited nonetheless. I look forward to posting it. It was a really fun video to film actually. And I'm gonna sit down and film this INT haul and first impressions video. I think I've shared these INT products in a vlog before, but I finally like figured out what I wanted to do with them. And I'm just gonna do a haul and first impressions and then get your guys' feedback as to what you wanna see for future videos. If you're curious about the swatches or the colors or some art or how to use it. Anyway, I'm gonna sit down and do that really quick. And then when Rose goes to sleep, Steve's up there with her now. When Rose goes to sleep, hopefully I can start packing the nail studio finally. I'd just like to get some of it done anyway. Okay, so all set up to film here. The box lights are just from eBay. This stand that I put my camera on is just a homemade stand. It's actually just like a lamp stand with a camera attachment on it. It works really well because it's nice and portable for me. Uh, that is a Diva ring light, and this is my setup. <laughs> if you guys were wondering how I film overhead videos, that is my setup. This backdrop is some like, like a laminate cover that I've just put over top of like a piece of particle board, I guess is what you would say. 
with moving and the stress that I've been under and everything, my like cuticles are just taking a beating. So my favorite cuticle oil right now is the Fusion cuticle oil. I always try and put cuticle oil on before I film videos. I just feel like it, I don't know, maybe hides <laughs> the roughness and how bad they look. But at the same time, it's hard for me to hide that right now. Especially this thing. I should have like not picked that last name. I pick when I'm stressed and yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> and I'm not sure right now if we're gonna go into day two of me packing or if packing is gonna be a separate video. It'll depend, I need to take those off, they drive me nuts. Um, it'll depend if there's enough footage for this like nail art workshop vlog. I meant to include both of them in this video. So if they are two separate videos, that wasn't my initial intention. It definitely was a huge priority of me to get um, this INT video filmed as well as that diaper bag video. So I'm glad I got that done tonight and tomorrow evening I should be able to spend some serious time packing up the nail studio. Anyway, ending the vlog here, unless there's enough footage to go into part two, in which case we'll jump to part two now. But if not, I will see you guys in my next vlog video. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this style of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're following my second vlog channel, Talia Lillian. It's the exact same thing as this sort of video uh, with some more sit down videos that are a little bit more personal, but it's basically all vlog style. So more personal videos related to my life. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.